Missouri's Attorney General also wrote a letter to welcome, well, kind of a welcome for President Biden to the state. Eric Schmidt sending that letter that says, quote, while Missourians are concerned with finding and affording goods, your administration is focused on transforming our economy. With unprecedented spending on socialist priorities, your priorities are your priorities, and they are wrong for Missouri and for America. And joining us now is the man who wrote that letter, Attorney General Eric Schmidt. General, great to have you with us. It's great to be with you. All right, so you also talk about the fact that these are not high-class problems, as some folks have led us to believe. They are not treadmill tragedies. These are real issues affecting Missourians and all Americans, let's be honest. Now, they don't seem to care about the problems or the policies that are creating the problems for your constituents, but you would think they would care more about their poll numbers because we're seeing it affect those things, too. I mean, absolutely. Look, these ideas, I think, are the creation of these D.C. cocktail parties. Uh, but in middle America, in flyover country, where I'm from in Missouri, they stink to high heaven. Because for middle class working family, families, the cost of gas has gone way up. The cost of groceries has gone way up. The cost of a used car has gone way up. I mean, you have a 40-year high now in inflation, this Biden inflation number that's making it much more difficult for families to make ends meet. And really, this is tantamount to the Joe Biden betrayal of the American worker. And it began on his first day in office when he canceled the Keystone XL pipeline. You know, we've lost our energy independence that we had under President Trump. You've got a border now that's an open border, creating all kinds of issues. Uh, it's just been a disaster from this president. And we're seeing these numbers now. We're finally seeing the consequences when you pull the veil down here of what these liberal progressives really want to do. It destroys the economy. The spending's out of control. And it's really hurting, uh, you know, middle class families. Yeah, you know, it's a great point you bring up on day number one. This administration's priority was to uh, kind of hamstring American energy production. Now, it shows you where the priorities are. I know something else, too, you're concerned about, and you mentioned this in the letter, uprooting critical race theory in Missouri. The Springfield, Missouri School District, uh, is now including a George Floyd reflection video, an anti-racist solo writing assignment. Also, they have an oppression matrix. These are all red flags for anyone who's concerned about this stuff. Uh, I guess what could go right in Springfield with that school district with those types of things on the curriculum? Well, listen, this is incredibly divisive ideology that's being pushed down now uh, to K through 12 education. Uh, the indoctrination to, for, for kids to despise America is something that should offend all of us. I mean, America is this special place where we all believe that we're born with certain rights and we can pursue our dreams. It's a very unique experiment in that belief that we believe anybody can do anything. And so to, cre you know, to, be, to be indoctrinating teachers and staff and administrators and students with this divisive ideology of an oppression matrix and um, you know, that colorblindness is covert white supremacy, this stuff is nuts. And we have to start calling it out as nuts. So I've sued the Springfield Public School District because they refused to give us all the documents. Uh, those documents that I referenced in the lawsuit were leaked by folks. So the stuff that we know about is really bad. What are they hiding? And we right. want to get to the bottom of it, and we got to stop this. Why would they want to hide the curriculum from people? It, you know, again, it raises all kinds of red flags. Uh, General, great to see you. Great to have you with us as well. We'll talk to you soon. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news channel now in more than 70 million homes. You can get Newsmax TV on your cable system or check your cable guide. And if your system doesn't carry Newsmax, call them, tell them you want Newsmax TV because we're real news for real people.